Once upon a time, there was a crow who lived in a big city. He was unhappy with his life, because he felt that he had nothing to offer. He was always surrounded by noise and pollution, and he had no friends or family. He often wished that he could fly away to a better place, where he could be free and happy. One day, he saw a flock of geese flying in the sky. They looked so graceful and majestic, and he admired them greatly. He decided to follow them, hoping that they would lead him to a better place. He flew behind them for a long time, until they reached a beautiful lake in the countryside. The geese landed on the water, and the crow followed them. He was amazed by the beauty and tranquility of the lake. He saw green trees, colourful flowers, and clear water. He felt a sense of peace and joy that he had never felt before. He approached the geese, hoping to make friends with them. Hello, I am a crow. I've followed you from the city. Can I join you? he asked politely. The geese looked at him with surprise and disdain. They saw that he was black, ugly, and dirty. They did not like him at all. Go away, you ugly crow. You don't belong here. This is our lake. And we don't want you here, they said rudely. The crow felt hurt and rejected. He did not understand why they were so mean to him. He had only wanted to be their friend. Please, don't be so cruel. I mean no harm. I just want to stay here for a while. I have nowhere else to go, he pleaded. No, you can't stay here. You are a nuisance and an eyesore. You will ruin our lake with your filth and noise. Go back to where you came from, they shouted. They started to peck at him and chase him away. The crow was scared and sad. He flew away from the lake feeling lonely and hopeless. He wandered around for a long time, until he came across another lake. This one was smaller and quieter than the first one. He saw only one goose swimming on the water. He decided to try again, hoping that this goose would be nicer than the others. Hello, I am a crow. I came from the city. Can I join you? He asked gently. The goose looked at him with curiosity and kindness. He saw that he was black, ugly, and dirty. But he also saw that he was tired, hungry, and sad. He felt sorry for him. Hello, I am a goose. I live here alone. You are welcome to join me, he said warmly. The crow was surprised and grateful. He did not expect such a friendly response. Thank you, thank you so much, you are very kind, he said happily. He landed on the water next to the goose. The goose smiled at him and offered him some food. Here, have some of these berries, they are very sweet and juicy, he said generously. The crow ate some of the berries and thanked the goose again. They are delicious. Thank you for sharing them with me, he said sincerely. The goose nodded and asked him about his story. So, what brought you here from the city? He asked curiously. The crow told him everything that had happened to him. How he was unhappy in the city. How he followed the flock of geese to the first lake. How they treated him badly and chased him away how he found this second lake and met him. The goose listened attentively and sympathetically. He felt sorry for what the crow had gone through. That's terrible. I'm sorry that they were so mean to you. They are very proud and selfish geese. They think they are better than everyone else because they have beautiful feathers and live in a big lake. But they are not happy or friendly at all. He said compassionately. The crow nodded and agreed with him. Yes, they are very rude and arrogant geese. 
They don't know how to appreciate what they have or share it with others. They don't know how to be happy or friendly at all, he said sadly. The goose smiled and comforted him. Don't worry about them, you don't need them to. Be happy or friendly, you have me now, and I have you. We can be happy and friendly together, he said cheerfully. The crow smiled back at him and felt a warm feeling in his heart. Yes, you are right, we have each other now, and we can be happy and friendly together, he said gratefully. They became good friends and stayed together at the second lake. They shared their food, their stories, their laughter, their dreams. They enjoyed the beauty and tranquility of the lake. They were happy and friendly together. Now see in life. Don't judge someone by their appearance or their background. Judge them by their character and their actions. Be kind and generous to everyone, and you will find true happiness and friendship. Thank you for watching.